on 14th July 2023 ISRO successfully launched Chandrayaan 3 from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota Chandrayaan 3 is expected to land on far side of the moon in fourth week of august chandrayaan is the latest indian exploration of the moon while chandrayaan 1 created the history by confirming the presence of water on moon chandrayaan 2 orbiter is still working and lander related to it lost its connection after 45 days of launching by isro team and orbiter is still working and isro team is communicating with the orbiter till date on july 14 2023 isro successfully launched chandrayaan 3 Here we have a majestic lift off of LVM3 rocket carrying the India's prestigious Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. As of now, rocket is soaring through the clear sky. Every second is moving towards the accomplishment of the task. Now the core stage has also commenced its operation. Its 200 motors thrusting simultaneously, generating a peak thrust of 6,000 kilonewtons in vacuum, made up of HTPP solid propellants. This stage is based on combustion of hyperbolic earth storable liquid propellant. S200 stays are successfully separated. Now the distance between the earth and moon is 384400 km. Now the rocket moves around the earth orbit for 24 days. Then the lander fixed to the propulsion module will be revolving around the earth in elliptical orbit. India's prestigious lunar landing spacecraft is closely moving to intended injection spotted in the orbit. The propulsion module provides propulsion for earth bounded maneuver trans lunar injection and the moon bounded orbit it also has a payload to study this spectral and polar immetric measurements of earth and lunar orbit then by increasing the apogee slowly that will increase the size of the object sometimes on or off mission will takes place based on some specifications first time the engine will be on for 48 seconds So by increasing the speed of the spacecraft and orbit size for the fifth time Chandrayaan 3 engine is on for 1203 seconds and then module is directed towards the moon's direction the spacecraft will move around the moon for 19 days now by next moving in a meal while they will be decreasing the apogee so that the spacecraft will be coming closer to moon by on or off of the engine nearly it will reach about 25 to 30 kilometers per minute to reach the moon so that the lander will be separated from the propulsion module it means that it is ready for the soft landing here in the south pole chandrayaan 2 has occurred and failure of lander due to crash landing so by keeping this in mind isro made some changes in technology and elements and these are added under some consideration based on working mechanism for soft landing in south pole now lander is moving towards the moon by maintaining 65.8 km per hour for smooth landing it also carries an instrument called shape means spectro polarimetry of habitable planetary earth here this is majorly used to enable discoveries of small planets here boosters will play a major role for soft landing now we can expect the lander for the exact soft landing position by maintaining speed of 2 miles per second pregnant rover will be coming from the lander through a slopey surface now this rover will move on the moon and will do research by sending the information to lander and the lander will send the information to earth that means isro station it, uh, it can also have the ability to identify the smaller planets which are present in space due to the presence of spectroscopic nature Jupiter that belongs to Chandrayaan 2 is still working. This pregnant rover will share the information by using two instruments. They are lips and apps. Hereafter, soft landing will take place. Rover will wake up during daytime only and will go to sleep mode during dark time. Sunrise will fall on the solar plate and it will get automatically charged. This rover will provide the information related to chemical and mineralogical composition of the lunar surface to help the expert more about the lunar surface also now on moon there will be daylight for 14 days and darkness for 14 days if everything goes according to chandrayaan 3 then it will be the second spacecraft to achieve in this remarkable field hoping this process will be done in a smooth manner thereby we can also know more details related to chandrayaan 3 here you can see the crystal clear details related to chandrayaan 3 and its parts rover plus propulsion module we can also able to know the low budget details from this picture in this portrait sketch we can also see the journey of chandrayaan 3
In this chart, we can see the launch to lunar landing soaring start. The orbital process that takes place in Moon and Earth, and these are the specifications of Chandrayaan three. For watching, please do like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.